Hi guys, Top Ops here, and today we've got a really cool package of stuff that I've been waiting for for probably six months. So let's get started. Alright guys, as you probably know, I haven't been able to go to the States, and this has been something that's been happening for, well, since COVID has hit, just because that's been about, what, six, seven months now? I'm not too sure how long it's been, just because everything feels like a blur when you're stuck at home for so long. But now, guys, we have something that was stuck over at GameStop for that long, probably six to seven months, and it's finally here. Now, this today is a package of stuff that I had pre-ordered over at GameStop, and I just haven't been able to go get it because the borders aren't open. And because I did go in there every single week pre-ordering stuff, I do get pretty chummy with the people that work there. And Renee, who works there, was actually nice enough to purchase these for me and then ship them over. And I did pay her, of course. It's not like she paid for everything. Well, actually, no, it is funny. I had so many pre-orders that I already picked up here in Canada that this box was practically free. And if you guys are wondering how this was practically free, I had $5 down on every single pre-order over at GameStop. And because it's been so long, most of the stuff that was pre-ordered, I had already picked up. But there was some stragglers that I couldn't get here in Canada. And that's what this package is right here. So, Renee, I know I talked to you on the phone, but I don't remember what is inside of here. And again, thank you so much for helping me out with this because I don't know when I would have been able to get these. All right, guys, so before we actually get into the package, here is everything inside. Now, I know they're all in sorters, but this gives you a good idea of how many things are in here. All right, guys, so here we go. This is the first one that we're doing here. This one just says one piece. These look like the ones you would actually get from GameStop, which is pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, let's see what we got. I don't even know what it is because it's the bottom of the box. Here we go. Ooh, nice. Okay, so this is from the new Fortnite wave, and this is Ultima Knight. Now, I don't actually use this skin, or don't know too much about it, but I do want to get every single Fortnite one, so this is a pretty cool one to get. Yeah, this one has some great detail. I actually haven't seen any of the new wave in person, so it is nice to see these ones. I'm pretty sure I had a couple of them on pre-order. I don't know how many, but there could be more of them in this package. Yeah, guys, just taking a closer look at this, I really do like the way they did this skin, especially the metallic gold on this one with the, like, dark red eyes. It makes them look pretty creepy. Well, anyways, guys, if this is an indication of what's in inside this box. I'm pretty excited. All right, guys, so let's get on to the next thing here, which would be whatever this is. Again, I don't know because I can only see the bottom of it, but I think, yeah, that looks like it's the front. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, shoot. This is a good one. Okay, so this right here is the Stan Lee from Thor Ragnarok. This is one, actually, that's funny. I saw this one today at the store, but I waited on it. I don't know why I didn't pick it up, but I'm glad I didn't because we got it here. But yeah, this one looks really great. I especially love the one hand on this one um, because it's kind of like the metal. Uh, I don't even know what you call it. It's like mechanical. I don't know. It's because it's not really like a, I was going to say like a prosthetic arm, but it's not. It's more futuristic than that. Um, but yeah, this one looks really great. This is probably one of the most detailed Stan Lee's that they've come out with from any of the cameos in the movies, and I'm loving it. Yeah, this one's probably one of my favorite ones out of the different cameos, but, but I mean, I like the classic ones better, like the one from Iron Man and stuff like that, but this one just looks so neat. All right, guys, so now let's get on to the next box here, which would be probably this one. Let's do this one next. Okay, so this one should be this way again. Perfect, they're all the right way this time. Okay, so let's see, guys. Here we go. Is it gonna fall? Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay, this is perfect. So here's the other Fortnite ones. So like I said, there's probably some more Fortnite ones in here. This might be all of them. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, Blackheart looks really great. I also see one little glitter on him, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, you guys can see here. Um, what I like about this one is he's supposed to be like a skeleton pirate. And the way they did his rib cage looks really great. You guys can kind of see it there, but we'll have the 360 on the screen, of course. But you guys can see the rib cage looks pretty great. You can see it's like kind of indented there. And I like that they did that instead of just doing like the normal body and then painting it on because that looks way better in my opinion. And if you guys want to see the rest of the set, there are three other ones. There's 8-Ball, Ghoul Trooper, Zombie, as well as Galaxy. And they're kind of small in the back there, but at least you get an idea of what they look like. Before we get into this one, I do want to mention that I had so many pre-orders at GameStop of so many random figures that I wanted. I honestly have no clue what the rest of these ones could be. Like, I kind of knew that there was going to be some of the Fortnite ones in there because I remember that I did pre-order them, but the rest of them is kind of a blur. But anyways, let's get into this one here because I am pretty excited about it. Shake this thing out a bit. Is it going to come? Hold on. Ah. Why is this coming? Hold on. All right, guys, I got it. So let's see what we got here. And I see orange. I'm not sure which pop would have orange on the box. Oh, okay. This makes sense. So this right here is Wallace from Wallace and Gromit. I didn't know they came out in 1989. So that was the first year that they were established. That's pretty neat. I feel like it would have been earlier than that. Huh. No, I guess not. But anyways, guys, this one does look really great. What I love about the Wallace and Gromit ones is it's pretty much the only difference with these characters is that their heads are a little bit bigger. But other than that, they look pretty much exactly like they do in the claymation. And out of the set, I already had Sean the sheep so now it's nice that we now have Wallace and Sean. I'm hoping there's a grommet in there that'd be nice. I'm sure I pre-ordered him. I don't know. I hope so. Oh, guys, I got scared there. So I looked in the thing and I saw like a bag in there and I thought it was a crushed pop box. No, it's just a bag from GameStop. And I wonder what it is. 
Oh, it looks like a pocket pop. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this one. So when I was on the phone with Renee and we were trying to figure out all the ones that I had and didn't have, this was one of the ones that she had asked me if I wanted it. And this is the Alien Remix Woody Pocket Pop. And for some reason, they made it so the Woody one was either in 10 inch form or pocket pop size, but they did not make a three inch one. Funko, if you're watching, please make one. Oh, I shook the camera. I'll just put you right here. Hold on guys, Renee, I feel kind of bad. There was a card or envelope on the side. I'm not too sure what it is, but let's check it out. Guys, a llama licking a rainbow, not too shabby, always funny. It says here guys, hey guys, we miss you so much. We hope to see you soon. We need those borders open soon. From Renee, Josh, and the rest of the guys from your favorite GameStop ever. Thank you guys so much for this card. It's really nice. All right guys, now let's get on to the next thing here, which would be whatever this is. And this thing's pretty hefty. All right guys, here we go. It's probably gonna fall out because of how heavy it is. So let's just see what it is. Oh. I forgot about this. Well, we now have a third Mr. Freeze. Okay, this is kind of funny. So this is not Renee's fault in any way. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot about this package. So I forgot that I ordered this twice. Is that sad? Is that sad on my part? I feel like it is. Because she said, which ones are you missing? I said this one, and then I forgot that I had ordered it from EB Games, but then I also forgot that I ordered it from EB Games and here when I picked it up in stores. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But at least we can do two things with this one now. And a lot of you guys are telling me that I should try freezing this one in ice to see what happens for maybe a week or a month. I don't know how long it would be, but it would be kind of a cool test. And don't worry, we can still give one away because now we've got three of these guys. And I was kind of clickbaiting yesterday's video by saying we're creating an army, but I guess with this one here, it really is an army. All right, guys, we're getting a lot of figures on the side here, so let's push these ones off to the side and get onto the rest of them. I am keeping the card, though. All right, guys, now let's get on to the next one here, which would be this right here. Okay, good, so it is the right way, so let's see what it would be inside of here. It is, oh, it's Weezer, nice! So guys, I actually, this is funny, I don't think I've ever known his name, it's Rivers Kumo. Uh, is that how you pronounce it, Kuomo? Cuomo? 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 Someone's gonna get mad at me for that one. Sorry. But I am a huge fan of Weezer and their music, and this is one that I really wanted to get. I liked their album where they did a bunch of different covers of different songs. I thought that was really great. Um, but yeah, this one right here is one that I've been looking for for a little while now, and he's looking pretty good. I'm actually a really big fan of the way they did the guitar there. You can also see a guitar pick in his hand, and I really like the way they did the lightning bolt on his guitar strap. I think that's a great touch. And if you guys look at the back of the boxer, it's got some really great detail to it as well. It's got a bunch of different photos and stuff, and I think it looks pretty great. Alright guys, so let's see what is next here. Probably be this. Okay, cool. So this one should go, yeah, this way. Perfect. Oh, shoot. I saw it before I showed you guys. Sorry about that. But it's Stanley Hudson. There's a lot of sorters down here, sorry. But it's Stanley Hudson from The Office. Now, I know it's kind of annoying because here in Canada, they've been getting in a lot of Stanley Hudson's as well as the Angela's, but they've only been getting in pre-orders. And of course, I forgot to pre-order them, so they're not here in Canada. But at least we do have the Stanley Hudson here and he's looking really great. I especially love that he's got the crossword puzzle and the pretzel in his hand. I do like that they're doing some of these characters as exclusive, so they're a little bit harder to get like they did with Andy and now they've done with Stanley and Angela. But I also really like that they're giving them small things that that are like from the show, like how Stanley's got a pretzel from Pretzel Day, or Andy's got the banjo from when he does, you know, he just plays the banjo in general, but the one that I can think of the most is when he does like the dueling banjos with Dwight. I think that's really cool. And then Angela has her cat. I don't remember which cat it is. Is it garbage or bandit or sprinkles, sprinkles, snowballs? No, snowballs, snowballs from... I don't remember her name. I don't remember the cat's name. Give me a break. All right, guys, we've got one more sorter before we get onto the big boy in the middle there because it's a pretty cool one. I do know what it is because I can see it through the bag. I don't know if you guys saw it, but let's do the last one here and we'll see what this is. Oh, he's falling out. Hey, hold on, I saw him. Nice, it's Gromit. See, look at me, guys. I knew it was going to be in there. I was thinking ahead. Anyways, I went into the future and was like, Whoa. I felt like uh, that's so raven. It went, whoo, 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 and I... I hope somebody got that reference. Anyways, guys, I, I figured Gromit would be in here just because I had pre-ordered Wallace, and why wouldn't you pre-order Wallace without Gromit? But yeah, guys, these both, like I said, look very close to the claymation. I mean, maybe their heads are a little bit bigger just because they've been popified, but other than that, they look pretty spot on. And guys, now we do have the entire set, and this is probably one of my favorite animation sets that they've done in a while, just because they look so good. Well, anyways, guys, that is all of the normal three-inch pops. Let's get onto that big boy. Oh, and also, it's not a big boy like Bob's big boy, it's just a bigger figure. And I am really excited about this one. This one's really heavy as well. Okay, here we go, guys. It is 
looking pretty good. This is the Fred Flintstone with House. And you guys may or may not know, but I've been trying to get every single Pop Town available, and this is one of those ones that I needed and haven't seen here in Canada yet. So this is pretty nice to get it today. What I like about this one though a lot is that this is the first time we've ever gotten the Fred Flintstone again without him having something going on with him, like the water buffalo hat or something like that. That might actually be the only other one they've ever done uh, since the original ones. I mean, they did the colored ones, of course, since the original ones, but those ones were like way back when, in like 2013, maybe 2014. So now, this year, we finally get this nice one that's pretty much a normal Fred. And I mean, the only difference with this one versus the old one is, is that there's no Fred, but he does have the cool bat over his shoulder and a hand on his hip. And yeah, the house feels really heavy. I mean, of course it is made of rock, so I totally expect that, but yeah, this thing is really nice. And if you guys want to see the back of the box to see if there's any spoilers or anything, there isn't really much. It's just Fred with the house. Oh, hold on guys, there's one more thing in the box. So apparently if you bought a bunch of pops that day or any pops at all, I'm not too sure, maybe you had to spend a certain amount, I don't know. But if you did, you got free protectors. So apparently GameStop makes their own protectors and I don't know how much I would have had to have spent to get these, but it looks like I got three of them. So I probably spent a good amount. And in case you guys are wondering, there's eight protectors per pack. Well, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you again to Renee, because without you, this video wouldn't even have been a thing. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been Upside Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if, you know, well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.